Have you guys heard about Joker 2? I saw it opening weekend. I contributed $9 to its, uh, I think it made $37 million this weekend. Not Nothing to sneeze at, but on a budget of whatever it was, $100 million, $200 million. Quite the bomb at the box office, they say. But I'm not here to talk logistics and money about movies. I want to. I went to school for film. I've written some scripts. It ain't easy, so I understand. I'm not just going to sit here and bash Todd Phillips. My problem with the movie was it just it was boring. Blah blah blah. This isn't a movie podcast. But I was reminded of an interview that Todd Phillips did after the first Joker came out, where he said that left. Oh, wait, Todd Phillips left comedy to make Joker because woke culture ruined the genre. Sure, maybe in 2019 there was a little more of an argument about this cancel culture thing. People really didn't know where it was going to end, and they got scared. I understand. And Todd Phillips left making comedies like The Hangover 3 and went to make The Joker, and he did a great job at it. He made a billion dollars at the box office up until Deadpool and Wolverine. He was the top-rated R film or top-grossing R film ever made. Quite impressive. You did good, Todd. But then we left you alone. Warner Brothers gave you a hefty paycheck and said, do it again, and you blew it. And you can't blame woke culture on that one, can you? My problem now, five years later, with this whole woke argument, um, well, let me just say first, I don't know if this is how Todd Phillips still feels, so I don't want to, let's just assume it is. I hope, though, that we can convince you to leave that opinion behind. Leave that to 2019 when people admittedly were kind of crazy. Trump was still in office. People didn't know what was going on. He made Joker. It was great. Go back to the raunchy comedies because just because you're like, oh, well, woke left people ruined it. You're thinking like, oh, if I went to a gay bar and called everybody the F word, I'd get in trouble. Well, yeah. But if you're making a movie like Old School or The Hangover or Due Date, you don't think there's an audience for that? People are begging for movies like that. People love Superbad. I think the la- uh, Tropic Thunder was great. I think, in my opinion, the last raunchy comedy was 21 Jump Street, and there's certainly more raunchy movies before that, but that was like the last of the movies that I like of that type of humor of just calling your friends gay and making fun of fat people, right? You can do that in a movie. They haven't done that a ton. You could point to movies like, hey, well, what about Booksmart? What about... Uh, Straight, no strings attached. No, what was the one with Jennifer Lawrence? Whatever the one when she f- shows her whole naked body. Ew. Like, these movies still come out. I haven't seen them, which is proof that they're not what we're talking about. Just because you say the F word in a movie and you say gay isn't us, isn't just everyone that's not woke. We're not just going to be like, oh, thank God you said gay. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for funny movies like Superbad and The Hangover where you can go, oh, these people actually are funny. And they're so funny, they couldn't hold it in anymore. They had to make a movie, and it was successful. Although, Hangover 2 and 3, not great. But Todd Phillips obviously had a big career in this type of environment, these raunchy comedies. And there is an audience for it. So, Todd, if you take anything away from this whole Joker 2 bomb, it's go back to your roots, make these funny movies, because we miss you. And to think that just because some woke leftist producer wouldn't ever want the movie made, Maybe you should remind them of how much money you've made on movies, Old School, Hangover, Due Date, Starsky and Hutch, Road Trip. Say that and say, look, people are begging for this kind of movie. I've done it before. I was one of the best at it. I made billions of dollars throughout my career. Trust me. And don't worry. The woke leftists will yell for a weekend. And then the DVD sales will come in and you go, oh, thank God I was right. Because... That's your bread and butter, baby. And everyone, like me, sitting here hoping that another super bad comes out will go see it at the theater if it's good. So just make it good, make it funny, and don't think that just because you can't call gay people gay to their face means that woke leftists are around every corner. It's called being nice in public. But when you designate a theater to saying, hey, it's rated R, it's raunchy, go in there at your own risk, People will accept that because we're not stupid. Audience members aren't dumb. You don't have to spoon feed us, spoon feed us, like, hey, this is what this joke means, and I don't really feel that way. Just make the movie funny, and people will enjoy it. All right? So sorry to hear about Joker 2. Just so you know, I contributed to that. I tried my best to raise you that billion dollars again. It clearly didn't work. Um, but yeah, go check out Joker 2, and you can laugh at how bad it is at the very least. 
And Todd, we're waiting. We're waiting for your next script, and we really hope it's better than Joker 2, because if you thought that social justice warriors were pissed off at your raunchy humor, you have no idea what nerds are capable of when you screw up a movie they were looking forward to.